Welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox. So today we are going to be seeing how close we can get a planet to a star without there being serious consequences. Consequences? It really does quench your thirst when you figure out the consequences for your actions. You no longer have to drink water, you simply have to make bad life choices. Alright, so we're going to see how close we can put a planet to a star. And, and I feel like it would be cheating if... So, so no black holes, because obviously we can get quite close to a black hole before crossing over the event horizon. Uh, but how close can we get to a star before vaporizing? And like, which star is the best to use for this? I feel like a red star, because quite large, cooler surface temperature. Wow, that kills my green screen. Yeah, we're going to have to deal with dead green screen, because when my screen gets this bright, look at that. Kills it. My face is, like, morphing through to the screen. Okay, um, anyways, let's see how close we can get. Now, it really depends on the type of planet we use as well. We're gonna use our rocky planet. They don't get obliterated quite as easily as gas planets. And if we go like this, you will notice that the Roche limit and the heat of the star cause serious issues, such as instantaneous destruction. Yes, that, that really does get in the way. But you'll notice that once the fragments get to a certain size, some of them are pretty stable. I mean, it's at a thousand degrees, but heck, this fragment may actually continue surviving forever. And it probably will. It doesn't seem to be getting ripped apart any further, and at the same time, it seems to be keeping a steady temperature. Oh, actually, it is heating up a bit. So, we're trying to avoid two things, getting ripped apart and being vaporized. So, th those are two exciting topics, um, but we're going to need to make the perfect star for this. Uh, the goal is to make the smallest and coldest star physically possible in this game. So, we're just going to get... Proxima Centauri, and we are going to try to decrease its mass as much as we can without making it no longer a star. This is making it slightly unstable and angry, as you can see by the tiny, tiny little, uh... <laughs> oh! I was gonna say solar flares, but... Okay, there we go. That's, that's the least mass we can give it. So, 79 Jupiters. Actually, if we put Jupiter up against it, I wonder. It's 79 times the mass, but when it comes to everything else, it's quite small. No, Jupiter still gets ripped apart. 79 times is just so much, and it's getting vaporized. But there's actually an interesting effect here where Jup- What happened there? What the heck? Well, why, why did it become a blue star? Oh, alright. That's very nice. A huge fan. Absolute, absolute fan of that. Very good looking. Okay, so it looks like we can't make mistakes or there will be consequences. Yes, that is my new word now. It's like a Mountain Dew ad. Alright, so how... I wonder, what's the small... I wish I could sort by mass. I want to figure out what like the smallest one we have is. It's 262 Jupiters. Um... <laughs> 151 Jupiters, 597, 94, oh that may be a winner, 94, ooh, Wolf 359 with 94 times the mass of Jupiter, I wonder if we can push it any lower. Can we get under that 70? No. Under that 70 Jupiters, and there's just not enough mass. This one does seem to be a little bit... I mean, it's not super duper hot. Uh, it is a star, so I guess it is super duper hot, but not, not quite as hot as other stars. Um, and now we just have to see how close we can get Jupiter. So if we put Jupiter, like, out here, I believe it'll be fine. Yeah. Warm quite warm maybe it'll start vaporizing itself but considering the surface temperature of wolf is about 2000 kelvin i don't think we'll hit vaporized temperatures on jupiter although there is quite a no no it's stable at about 300 
Um, so that's that's good news for us. We can get rather close. It's actually about the same size uh, because density is much higher on a star, obviously. Now, tidal forces are going to be the main thing we have to fight here. How close can we get to a star before the tidal forces rip apart the planet we put next to it? Now, heat is an issue right now. Jupiter is heating up rather quickly. 600 degrees. It's actually fine. But you may have noticed that there's a little cloud here, and that's actually Jupiter very slowly being ripped apart. Oh, now more quickly. It seems to be speeding up. <sighs> Tidal forces, man. Tidal forces are going to make this challenging. And wow. Wow. Yikes. Goodbye, Jupiter. It was nice knowing you. Alrighty, so, so the question now becomes, can we make a smaller star? Can I, can we create a star that is so... Oh, you could do a random star. For some interesting properties, 108 Jupiters. But what if we d decrease the mass, but we increase the density? I don't know if we can force... No, you see, because uh, we we want mass to be locked. So let's try doing 50 Jupiters. Technically, if we force the density up, we should be able to create nuclear fusion. I mean, but it doesn't seem to care. The game will only allow us to do this if it fits within what would actually be possible in physics. Do I blame them? Yes. How dare they? All right. Oh! Oh, now that's interesting. We've created a very cold, very dark star. 2.7 Kelvin. Oh. Well, then at least the heating isn't an issue. But again, it's got to be at least 78.6 Jupiters. You could technically just have a very, very large planet. Actually, in this case, Jupiter is so much larger. That's kind of insane. It's going to get ripped apart. Yeah. But Jupiter is so much larger than the star. The density is just crazy. So let's switch the density back to something a little bit more reasonable. Oh, it just doesn't seem to care. All right. Never mind. I give up on that dream, just like all the others. Let's go ahead and put Jupiter... I mean, we can just make Jupiter like 75 Jupiters, and that should avoid becoming a star, right? Uh, 75 Jupiters. Nice. And then Jupiter can just chill. Although the orbital mechanics here are a little bit wacky. That is pretty damn close to a star. Look at that. Brushed up right against it and didn't get ripped apart because, you know, they've got pretty equal mass now. But how close can we get? Wow, Jupiter is really heating up from the tidal forces here. Oh boy. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna do a big melt. Is it stable or is it getting higher in each cycle? Alright, up, down. Uh, it seems to have lost pretty much all the heat after the... Uh, I guess a tiny bit higher, actually. So it is conserving a little bit of the heat, but not enough that I really have to worry about it. It does get pretty hot, though. Actually, at some point it will start vaporizing itself. Oh my god, why did it go up to, like... Wow. When you speed it up, it gets very, very, very interesting. Alright, so let's decrease the speed of Jupiter. Let's try to get them to get a little bit closer together. Ooh. Alright. More. Oh, damn! They got so close together that Jupiter actually hit, um, a bajillion degrees. <laughs> uh, 
I don't think that's scientifically possible, but we did hit, I don't know, heat death of the universe? Who, who, who knows? Who knows? Is this still a star? Did it get ripped apart at all? Huh, interesting. There is another way to get closer to a star. I just thought of it. Oh, shoot! I have this stupid road to 160k thing at the... Ah, oh, I forgot to get... Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I am so sorry. We're, we're just gonna murder them. Oh, people are gonna be like, what the heck is that doing there? Oh, well. Doesn't really matter. You won't notice. Totally. Everything's fine. Ignore... Ignore... Alright, so let's get Wolf again, because it's the smallest guy we can get. Let's get Jupiter at a safe distance from it, right? Over here. So, Walt, a little bit toastier than normal. Jupiter right now is pretty safe. It doesn't seem to be ripped apart at all. Now I've got my plan. How we can get Jupiter super, super close. Watch this. On Wolf, what we can do is we can lock the mass. Oh, come on. Yes, we can lock the mass, but we can decrease the density. Or we can just force the radius up. There we go. And this is going to get it closer to Jupiter because it's physically low. Wow, really messing with the green screen again, aren't you? This is going to get it closer to Jupiter. But Jupiter doesn't really notice because other than the temperature, the amount of mass is the same. So, we just keep increasing this number. Oh my. How is that for being close to a star? Literally, a solar flare could probably cause it to hit- Oh my god, look at that! There's a solar flare! Compared to Jupiter. Wow! Damn, that is really close. Can we push it any closer? Is it necessary? No, but science. Alright. That- Oh no! It collided! Oh, by Jupiter. Alright, we're not gonna get closer than that. I don't- I don't think it's gonna happen. I'm gonna try the same thing with the Earth, see if the Earth fares well. Alright, all we have to do is a quick pause. Put the earth right over here. How does it look on Earth? It's pretty red. Pretty, pretty sad looking Earth. Um, my face is still dying. I mean, it's not gonna survive. There's no way. No! It's. <laughs> Wait, what's the temperature? I want to know. Wait, it's 14 degrees? Are you kidding me? This is habitable? No. No. Oh my god, the game is trying to say that this not only works, but it is survivable. <laughs> Are you... <laughs> this may be one of the greatest, greatest unexpected <laughs> things in this game. This works. Alright. Uh... Okay, game. Look, usually I trust you, but this one is just a little bit... A little bit unbelievable. Let's get flashlight lighting so we can actually see. <sighs> Alright, this one is just ridiculous. Like, seriously. Can, can I get a field of view that puts this into perspective? Alright, I know there's like settings I can modify. Field of view. There we go. Oh man, that is so fun to tweak. You can make it so ridiculous. Oh, we can almost see. Wow. That is some good field of view. That is so whack. <laughs> This is like headache mode. And then this way is like macro lens. 
Oh, that looks real neat. Oh, I kind of like that. But look at it. It's it's literally on the surface of the sun. <laughs> how, how is that habitable? Game, work with me here. This this should not be possible whether or not my face is dying. I can probably just turn off my lighting and I'll just look normal, right? Oh well. Nope. Nope, that did not help. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. That's how close we can get. Apparently mere inches from the surface of the sun and everything's gonna be fine, so... Real shocking, I know. <laughs> real shocking information. Peace out.